My Lou has played an influential role in the toy world. The Metalcraft Corporation made toy trucks and planes right here, dating back to the 1920s. You can still find the antiques in places like Andy's Toys in Shrewsbury. The shop is like taking a walk down memory lane to a time when playing involved imagination. A walk inside takes you back in time. People come in and kind of relay their memories. Stories of the toys. Every day it happens. That used to be the happening ones. A lot of oral history that goes on with toys. Andy's Toy Shop preserves much of that history. Toys that require some thought when you play. You kind of built your day with your friends around that one or two toys. So we had to make do with what we had. Evolution. Radical changes. Change the type of toys we had. All the classic toys kind of go away. Classics eventually replaced by the gizmos of today. It's on their phone, it's on their iPad. Video games and handheld gadgets. The kids now are a little bit more in the moment. Batteries may be required, but not much in the way of imagination. It's kind of laid out for the kids a little bit more. A bit of imagination can turn into an inspiration. An elderly gentleman bring in his erector set and he also brought in his chemistry set. And he said, maybe it worked because I became an engineer. And sometimes toys can inspire us. We don't even realize it till later in life. And if those toys have a long life, they could be worth a buck or two one day. Even just a regular Darth Vader with his cape, you know, now you're looking at about $50. Back in the day, they cost about $250. But as you decide on the toys to put under your Christmas tree this year, Andy says you shouldn't focus on their collectability. Look for playability. A toy to play with that could have your kids reminiscing one day too. It's kind of neat to hear stories. Absolutely, let's get those old ones. I love the old toys.